but nobody listens, so who the fuck cares? Yeah. But if they started saying it, maybe some of these half inbred idiots out there, <laughs> maybe the light bulb would go off and say, you know what? It might be nice to play something fucking new. <laughs> Clowns, <laughs> jag offs, inbred fucking toothless hillbilly fucktards. I hate the audience. Cunts. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> they are they're cunts Alex uh, the audience is the reason why I'm sitting at, uh, well, why I'm instead of playing fucking a Call of Duty Generations game this amazing idea that Alex Von Sternberg had why I'll you. be playing Modern Warfare 76 yeah it's it, well, you know, yeah, I, you know, Black Ops 2, I was kind of an apologist for it the other week, but yeah, it's really, it probably is going to be more of the same. You know what I mean? Why would they do anything different? Why would, yeah, that's why the problem. Would they, because that's why would what people they, want. Why would they make a new IP? They're clearly doing all right just selling Call of Duties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Duty. <laughs> duty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's a duty. <laughs> uh, anyways, ran over. Oh. Uh, site changes. And this is the first you guys are going to be hearing about this. We're cool. Uh, everything I told you yesterday about you know funding and whatnot, I think we're good. Oh, okay. Kind of went through the, the fucking checkbook and figured out what I had, what I didn't have. So I think we're good. We're going to be up and running. But if the audience that I just Trash. berated for about 20 minutes <laughs> wants to contribute... <laughs> <laughs> if they actually want to throw some dollars at this show because it is fucking amazing and you won't find it anywhere else, uh, please feel free to contact me on the site. I'll put up a donate button. You can send us a couple thousand dollars. We're, we're Everybody good with that. knows you never go full retard. We're good with some fucking public funding. It's okay. We won't go full retard with it. I'm the only one that hates you. Somebody's got to feed Alex. And Joe, he needs he needs food. Dude, I'm real skinny. Fuck I'm Joe. real skinny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We'll give Joe a cracker. Yeah. He'll be fine for a week. Yeah, Scott, that's it. Scotty D just had surgery. He needs some help too, man. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Scotty D just had surgery. Motherfucker's gonna have to go back to work Dude, soon. He's a war hero, okay? He had surgery. He's a war hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. I know I just berated the audience for a while, and it was all out of anger. But on the serious end of things, it's like I really do want this show to be a fucking success, and I want it to grow, and I want it to get better, and I want to do that without compromising, without having to say. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm super excited for the next Call of Duty. It looks <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to fucking sell out. Uh, and the only way that's going to happen is if, if if the audience that we have, which I do love, you know, mainly when I was talking about the audience, I was talking about the video game audience. Yeah, I wasn't talking gamers. about the audience of this show. Uh, if you guys spread the word and help us out and get the, you know... <laughs> Donate some fucking bucks. I hate doing it, but it's going to have to be that way. And, you know, just help us grow, man, because this fucking stagnant shit, it's, it's going to pop the bubble. It's like we either revolt now and say we are not buying into this fucking prefabricated bullshit that has taken over the world, and especially the video game industry. If we don't do it now, it's going to pop the bubble. And then, then you're going to get nothing. So that's my that's my rant. And a new site update's coming. It'll be up for E3. There you go. Yeah. I just sank the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, dude, fucking, you know, I feel like if we start talking about Kurt Schilling and all those other stories, it's like rearranging deck chairs in the Titanic. It's just not worth it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll, I'm just dude, kidding. I'll no, play, I'll play, I'll play while this fucking boat sinks. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, Prepare well, also, to be dazzled. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? It is fun to make fun of Kurt Schilling, though. I think we figured that out last week. I think we all have fun You with just it. so want to move on. I you really want to. You've tried to segue like 17 times. <laughs> it's true. I do want to move on yeah <laughs> no it's no you're right so kurt Schilling. i'm depressed i want i want to be happy i want to make fun of kurt Schilling. let's do it well don't be happy because this guy's fucking he's doing all right kurt Schilling gonna uh. be all right he's got four cougaroos we ain't got one <laughs> <laughs> not one we're fucked <laughs> no but he's actually while this whole fucking thing with 38 studios is going down this week everybody got laid off all the employees the the studio's done. They're closed. They're, we're just waiting for word that you know <laughs> whether Rhode Island's going to seize that shit or not, or if they're going to have a fire sale. But that's going to be the next thing to come down the pipe. Uh, but while all this was happening, and while people 
were getting emails at that studio saying, and they were really abrupt. It was the day of, too. Yeah, the day of that they were being laid off. It wasn't like you're going to be laid off in a week, you'll get one more check. It's clear out your office, get the fuck out. Um, While all this was happening, Chris Schilling was on Twitter talking about what a success Amalar was and how it exceeded EA's expectations and and just bragging up a storm about how, how successful Kingdoms of Amalur was while his, you know, studio burned, basically. And people just jumped up his ass for it, and rightfully so, because the CEO of 38 Studios actually walked out this week as well. And the same day that Kurt Schilling was bragging on Twitter, she was posting up jobs for your job openings for her staff, uh, saying, look, you know, this is available. You should apply for it, <laughs> uh, which is the right thing to do, and which is a very human thing to do. Kurt Schilling's a... Uh, he's not a human. No. <laughs> he's an alien or of some type, yeah. Yeah, he's a soulless fucking vampire. Dude, I he's love... He's a leech. You know, it's funny that we were, like, basically talking shit about sites like Kotaku just a moment ago. There's a lot of irony in this episode, I gotta say, but um, they, they put this so well where they said that Alexander Slowinski of Joystick camped out at a Dunkin' Donuts that was close to 38 Studios this week, and the writer says... I think if he had bought a dozen donuts and donated them to 38 Studios, that that box of pastry would have done a better job running the firm than Kurt. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. It, it, and it's undeniable, because basically he fucking... The, the writing was on the wall. I mean, I'm sure there were people, like the money men in that company, were coming to him on a daily basis saying, look, this is where we're at. We've got two months left of, of operating finance to work with, and that's it. <laughs> right, I'm sure that a yeah. conversation like that took place. Because that Kurt shit just yeah, that shit doesn't just come up overnight. You don't just run out of money the next day. You know you're gonna run out of money in two months if you keep fucking, if you keep just wasting it. It's gonna yeah, happen. And, and I guarantee you, Kurt Schilling, instead of you know calling everybody together saying, "Look, this is what we got. Unless something changes, you need to be looking for a new job." He probably hit the golf course, man. Sure. He probably went and did a speech about how Obama's the devil or a communist <laughs> or Muslim. You know, something like that. <laughs> something a good tea party yeah. would do. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And the guy's a clown. He's absolutely everything that's wrong with America. And he needs to be fucking sent to Siberia. <laughs> where he could suck fucking potatoes with the rest of those commie fucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, the studio is done. What's he doing now, though? Like, what's his thing? Like, if the studio's done... I don't know. He's chilling on the with, golf course, chilling with Mai Tai somewhere. I don't well, that's know. what I'm saying. Is he just, is he like unemployed technically at this point? Just with a lot of money on his. In his oh, I'm pocket? sure. I'm yeah. sure he was like, hey, I did. I did my dream. I made a video game. I'm sh- now I'm he'll fantastic. Run, now he'll run for politics. That's where he'll go. Yeah. Now. now now he'll run for fucking president and right. probably win. Right. Because he's Kurt Schilling. He was a baseball player. That's the, That's how intelligent <laughs> America has become. It's like he won the World Series. He's gonna make a fantastic president. <laughs> he had a bloody stock on. That means that he's dedicated. Yeah. See, I, as much as I'd like to say that that would never happen, I do come from a state that elected a wrestler as governor. So yeah, you <laughs> Anything do. can happen. Come on, don't bullshit it, me. Hey, and you know what? It's crazy. It's crazy as Jesse Ventura is. I, I don't hate him. He did have some good ideas. Yeah. Hey, he got he got a light rail system like pushed through in my st- in my home city and it yeah. never would have happened otherwise so i give him credit there where it's due but let's yeah, not, i mean let's, and he's crazy don't he, get me wrong this guy's fucking bad shit he is insane yeah he lives in baja california now but he lives in baja smoking his ass off in like pounds of weed so i give him credit there too <laughs> <laughs> yeah well he was like fuck politics yeah i mean basically he saw that like nothing's gonna change Mm-hmm. And, and no, we're not getting off on this. No, right no, no. Because I well, just I, <laughs> we can feed into we can feed this into video games somehow. Nothing's going to change, as you just said. That's actually well, the sort no, of... and that's the, see that's not true, Alex. I just you because know... we're here. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but we're cooler than everybody else, and it hurts me to say that. I feel conceited when I say these things, but we are. We're so much better than them. Even when I habitually step lines. <laughs> yes, that's even, what makes it, you it, better, well, Alex. Because that's Thank what you, makes Joe. you better. Well, yes, because otherwise this show would just be uh, we would be the the polar north of their <laughs> south. Well, you know, it, we would be the left extreme. We would be crazy. Nate and I would just be rolling around doing moves and butthead things like we were yesterday. Yes, that's exactly what this would all to. Well, and I get mad at you sometimes, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you're the you're the fucking balance, you know. <laughs> That's why this show's great. These other fucking clowns need to We're go. We're doing exactly what the fuck Kurt Schilling just did. <laughs> We're patting ourselves on the fucking back. 
Well, yeah, everything we've burns actually got something us. to show for it. Everything burns around us, and we're just saying, yeah, we're awesome. We're awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, we set the fires. Let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, if Kurt Schilling... Oh, <laughs> it's like, if I would just shut my fucking mouth for five seconds, I'm sure that the show would be, like, a ten times better. Don't do that. If I wasn't that. like, fuck Activision. <laughs> Luke says don't do that. You should probably listen to him. It's like, I'm sure I've burned a couple bridges that didn't quite need to be burned, but whatever. <laughs> like the audience. <laughs> yeah, well, you just pissing everybody off today, huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But you know what? Fuck them. I don't even care anymore. I don't care who I piss off at this point. What are, we, what, what are they going to do? Not listen? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> they're, all, they're already not listening. I don't even give a shit. Yeah. Ah. It's like the loyal audience members. They'll listen, but fu- fuck everybody else. You like us, you, you like us. You don't, you don't. Fuck you. And your fucking bullshit Call of Duty. And your fucking favorite developer, you know what's funny publisher. Is that, that, that little sentence right there is all you needed to say. <laughs> As opposed to that giant rant that you had. Though I do love that giant rant. I was rant. wrapping up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, should we... Uh, I was bringing it full circle, baby. Yeah, do, do you want me to sort of pitifully attempt to segue us into talking about the old Republic getting, like, totally... Yeah, well, let's let's just, you know, our hearts, yeah. hearts go out to the families that were fucked by Kurt Schilling. Oh, yeah. Right in the ass. Dude, no lubrication either. He didn't even spit in his hand. No. He just fucking, just straight butt-fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? And they should have known better, too. They have to carry some personal responsibility for this, too. Because you fucking took a job at a studio with a Major League Baseball pitcher as the fucking head. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe maybe not the best idea. That's all I'm saying. But I do. I do feel bad for everybody that's going to have to relocate and find new jobs. <laughs> now you may segue. Oh, well, I mean, they're away from, you know... I mean, if, as long as they get new jobs that are away from Kurt Schilling and his, you know that gravitational pull that is his ego. Um, yeah. But. Well, maybe 38 studios in the older public, uh, the yeah. people that got laid off from the older public, can form a new studio. Yeah, good segment. Put out another MMO well, that's see, just like, wow. Yeah, you're, mm. you're going to have to, you're gonna have to ta- uh, talk us through what happened, though, with, uh, this is Bioware, right? Yeah, Bioware got hit with their layoffs, man. Yeah. Well, that, And that, I'm not... Was this... Okay, well, actually, I want to clarify, though. Was this additional layoffs or the layoffs that always happen after a game finishes? No, this is actually the first round. Okay. Uh, which massive? is it actually took longer than okay. a lot of people expect, you know, for the standard MMO layoffs to happen. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting because it seems like, you know, everybody was was still working and content was still being being developed, and and the layoffs are or the restructuring, you know, the the in parentheses restructuring that <laughs> is in every press release when fucking layoffs hit of Bioware is, has basically cut the staff to the old Republic. And while the game's not quite in maintenance mode as of yet, we'll get 1.3, we'll probably get an expansion. Um, I, it's going to go free-to-play. It is. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no stopping it at this point. There's too much work to do on this game for them to be making layoffs. And for them to be making layoffs right now is not a good sign. It shows, uh, say, lack of, of confidence that their product is is going to be viable through uh, through 2012, I'd say. Because um, I mean, there is there's a ton of work left to do on this game. Well, and how much how much money do they stand to lose at this point? Like, because this game was massive. Well, EA doesn't budget. have any money. Uh, EA and Bioware are fine. Okay, so this isn't going to like actually hurt them as companies. This is just going to hurt the no. game. This could, the game and the gamers playing it are the ones who get. Affected yeah, by this. we're the okay. ones that are going to get the shaft. Yeah. You know, 1.3 will probably come out, I'd say, mid to end of summer. They're saying early summer, which, you know, obviously add a month and a half to that. Uh, and saying, we've yeah. already gotten the details on 1.3, which it's like, great, you're adding a group finder? Fantastic. You're adding a group finder to my empty fucking server. <laughs> you know, still no word on... I actually messaged Ray Mizuko on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> When this, when the word of the 1.3 details came down, and it was still, oh, character transfers are still coming soon, and you know we're gonna give you limited character transfers to low pop uh, servers to kind of give those servers a population boost, and blah 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 blah, and you have to pay, which is ridiculous. You have to pay to go to the server you actually want to go to, Ugh. which is it's fucking clown shoes, dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, so I messaged him. I'm like, hey Ray, you know. What soon, basically? Are they gonna? Are we gonna get character transfers before 1.3? Because honestly, the people that are there right now waiting for 1.3 might not be there when that thing, when that patch rolls out. And you know, I got it's coming soon. 
That was his answer. It's coming soon. So they don't know when it's going to be ready. 